What's up, retro gamers? Gopher64, the killer Rust-based N64 emulator, just dropped version 1.1.2, and we're here to break it down. I'm V for Vintage, and in this video, we'll explore what's new in this update. Let's jump into the N64 nostalgia. If you're new to Gopher64, it's an open source N64 emulator built in Rust by Logan McNaughton, the mind behind Simple64. It's all about high compatibility, smooth performance on modern and lower end devices, and support for the entire N64 library, including homebrew ROMs. From Ocarina of Time to Netplay Mario Kart sessions, Gopher64 nails that retro vibe. So what's new in this update? The official changelog is light on details, but based on Gopher64's track record, we can piece together what's likely included. Here's the scoop. Performance tweaks. Recent updates, like 1.0.19, fixed net play and optimized performance. 1.1.2 likely refines this further, ensuring games run buttery smooth, even on laptops, with faster load times or better frame rates. GUI enhancements. The community has been asking for a better interface, and Logan has been delivering. Version 1.0.19 added version and settings buttons. Expect 1.1.2 to polish the GUI further, making it easier to navigate or customize your setup. Bug squashing. Gopher 64's updates often fix crashes and compatibility issues, like the Netplay crash fix in 1.0.17 or save state improvements in 1.1.0. 1.1.2 probably tackles similar glitches, ensuring more games like Bass Hunter 64 or Chameleon Twist play flawlessly. Netplay improvements. Netplay is a big focus for Gopher 64. Recent versions fixed server URLs and buffer reporting. 1.1.2 might make online multiplayer even stabler for those epic GoldenEye deathmatches. This update isn't just a version bump. It's about keeping the N64 legacy alive. Gopher 64's open source nature means Logan and the community are constantly improving it. Whether you're reliving classics or diving into Lib Dragon Homebrew, 1.1.2 makes the experience smoother and more accessible. Ready to try Gopher 64 1.1.2? Grab it from github.com slash gopher64 slash gopher64 for Windows or Linux. Join the Discord to connect with other retro fans, share netplay tips, or even help improve the GUI. Logan's looking for contributors. Support the project on Patreon to keep those netplay servers humming. That's the rundown on Gopher 64 1.1.2. What N64 game are you firing up first? Drop it in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe for more emulation goodness. Stay retro, and I'll see you in the next video.